everybody. Cindy out here with my RT Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I've had this in my stash for quite a while. It's just a little mini puzzle. Um, mini mouse puzzle. And here's my thought. This is what I wanted to do with it. I put it together and I took a picture of it. And the reason I did that is because I want to do... I don't know if you guys remember these cards or not. They're called Pick and Choose. So I want to do a five card pick and choose on each piece. And then once I get those pieces done, then I want to put it together and see what it looks like. What do you think? You guys want to play along? Do you have any puzzle pieces you could mess with? Do you have any old puzzles? Um, check your thrift stores for, you know, a kid's puzzle, something like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I just want to give you guys a little introduction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart. I'm just going to start with one piece. I'm not leaving it together because I don't need it sitting here on my desk. So, no big deal. Take it apart. Okay. And let's start with this first piece. Um, I think I'm going to do them on the face. Yeah, I think I'm going to do them on the face. So, let me, the first thing I need to do, whenever you use something like a um, glossy, that has a glossy finish on it, Grab a sander and just kind of get rid of some of that gloss. And what that does is anything you put on here now is going to stick. Um, if you don't get rid of that gloss, you have the chance of it all just picking right off. So we're going to do that. Let's pick our five cards and see what we're going to have to do to this little tiny piece of puzzle. All right. So, ugh. I shuffled these time and time again while I was sitting here thinking about how I was going to do this. So these are actually all shuffled. I just want to get them together. What I'm going to do is just throw them out and I'm going to pick five of them. So here's one. Now remember with the pick and choose, you don't have to do them in the exact order. Um, you can do them um, any way you want and you can choose one of the two prompts on each card. So here we go. We got five. Alright, so here's what I get to do. Either doodle or stamp a border. Use a brayer or a gift card. Use metallic paint or matte paint. Um, use shapes or use lines. Use circles or use stars. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is... I might use metallic paint. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one of these I'm going to use yet. I'll probably use maybe a brayer. Um, I might use lines and then I may use stars and of course I'll either doodle or stamp a border. So this should be pretty easy to do. I just thought I saw one upside down. Nope. Um, this should be pretty easy to do. So let me get my stuff together. I'm going to pick up all these cards, get them back in my little bag here. Uh, if you've never been to a Jerry's Artorama or if you've never seen one, check out these Jerry's Artorama bags. These things are so sturdy and they're fabulous. I love the fact that they have a decent zipper on them. It's not a real tiny zipper and they're just great. Great storage thing. Anyway, all right, let me get this stuff together and we'll come back and I'm going to play on this card. Enjoy. All right, I hope that's a little better. So I've set them up in the order that I'm going to do them. And I'm going to start out by using matte paint. I thought I was going to use metallic, but I decided on matte. Um, I've got out some Blick matte paint, off-white, and green, green blue light. So I'm just going to throw some of this down here. And some of it down here. This other paint is completely dry that's on here, so I don't have to worry about it. And I'm going to use my brayer. So I just, I'm going to play around with just throwing some paint on here. Not worrying about really what it's doing. Um, we're going to dry it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I just want it, I don't want it like, I don't know what to say, not the word solid, but I don't want it to look uniform. How's that? You know, I kind of like that the pink is throwing, showing through there. Can you see that? It's kind of neat. Alright, let's get some more of this on here. It's white. Alright, so let me go ahead. I'm going to dry this up. And I'll be right back. Alright, it's still kind of warm. 
Um, so I've used matte paint and I used my brayer. So that's the first two. This one is either use shapes or use lines. And I've decided I'm going to use lines. And what I'm going to use, this is the Tim Holtz collection from Stampers Anonymous. And this is uh, Media Marks 1. And I really like this just stamp of lines. So I'm going to use it. So where's my black ink? I have archival black ink here. I love my archival inks. One of my favorites. Sorry if I'm moving the camera. I hope not. So I'm just going to throw some lines on here. I really don't. Well, I'll do one of them everywhere. Alright, so there's just a few lines on here. There's not a whole lot, but I kind of like that. So, actually, let me put a couple more down here. There we go. How's that? So I've got my lines on here. I'm going to go ahead and put this back. Alright, so lines are on. What is next? It says use circles or stars and then doodle or stamp a border. So, I decided I've got a bunch of these um, die cuts that there's a lot of times I'll sit down with my scraps and I die cut a lot of mini stuff. And these are all stars. Well, most of them are. There's a heart in there couple hearts. See this is not going to show so I like these kind of but uh, I don't know. Uh, here's a black one that'd be pretty. Oh, I like that. Let's see if there's any smaller black ones. My guess is a new. Oh no here's one. So I have one right here that I can use. Those are big stars, aren't they? For a little bitty piece. But you know what? I think I'm going to use them. It says use stars with an S on it. So we're going to use these stars. This one, um, I'm going to leave it like this. Because when I put the puzzle back together, a piece is going to go under here. So I'm just not going to glue it. But I'm going to leave it hanging over that piece. So that, you know, it can just lay over top of whatever that is. So I'm going to put these stars on here. I found that I actually absolutely love this art glitter glue. Um, it's fabulous because you don't have to use a ton of it. I mean, even this that I just used, can you see it, is more than I need. So this place is, this, this stuff is good. So there's one. I might do another one of these while I'm on today. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe these will just be little short videos. And there's two. So there's that star. So I used stars. Now let's see. That one's done. And now I have to either doodle or stamp a border. Hmm. I think I'm going to end up stamping one because I don't, I don't know. Let me think. Let me think. It says a border. I don't want to border the whole way around. So, let me grab a pen. Hold on. Stuff's in my way. I got too much junk on my desk again. Um, just a paint pen. Just a paint pen. And let's just do some little and I'm gonna color them in. And then I'll put some little white dots in them. Just little humpty dumps, that's what I call them. Humpty dumps. Okay, there's one. I'm going to get it all nice and black so that you really don't see the edge. See, they're just little humpty dumps. I probably should bring you guys in, huh? Hold on. There you go. I'm going to do some. I'm not going to do the entire border because I really don't want it that way. I'm 
but I'm just going to do enough so that there's some type of a little border on here. And I'm trying not to make it very big because, you know, whoops, I always do that. I'm sorry. It's so hard for me to keep things in frame. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm in too close. That could be. All right. So let's do one more. I'm going to do it, I think, right here. I think this one's a little bit bigger than the other ones, but that's okay. It's very quiet in my house today, thankfully. My hubs was out mowing the lawn. My puppy dog is sleeping. And I'm just decided to play in my art room, so like that. I'm going to let that paint get it dry real quick. And I don't think I want that. I think I want one of these. I'm trying to use these up. These are from um, like a Daiso store. And I want to use them up because I really enjoy my Poscas much better. Some reason it looks like the paint didn't go through. It didn't stay on it. So yeah, I told you guys in my last video um, that I ended up back up in New York again. My dad's having some really weird heart heart issues. So you know, when things get really bad, I decide to go up because you know I don't ever want to regret not going. So I go up and I see him and make sure everything's okay and you know my sister's up there, my niece, got a couple brothers up there um, and they you know make sure he's okay but it's just you know I live down south and I just want to make sure that God forbid anything ever happened to dad that I saw him so when I went up a few months ago it was it was kind of rough. But, that's not going to work. Hmm. I'm going to do I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to put a little pink uh, around. I don't know why, just cuz I want to around these stars. I just want to outline them with pink. Can't have just black and blue and white, you know. I have another color. I love the way that pink is, is shining through on this. It's kind of cool. So yeah, and then I got to spend a week or so with my son and you know I haven't done that in a while, so that was really nice. It's great to get to spend some time with him. Uh, it was long trips, let me tell you. I drove the whole time, you know, up and back and whatever, and for both trips, and it's just, it's a long trip. If I just do nothing but stop for gas, um, it's about 13 hours. Well, no, it's about 11, 11 and a half hours, maybe 12 hours. That's if I only stop for gas, but if I stop for anything else, then it just makes it longer. All right, so I think here's our first piece of the puzzle. And again, I used matte paint. I will write these in the description box below so that you have them to do your choice with. Um, I used a brayer. I used lines, which is the stamp in the background. I used stars, of course. And I doodled the border. Now, I didn't do, like I said, the entire thing because I really don't want it huge. And I don't want it to look like it's an individual piece when I put the puzzle back together. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you like the idea. Let me know. And I'm going to keep going with these. I may just do another video and get this one out too. You never know.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Talk to you soon. Bye.